And we begin at four with breaking news. You're looking live over the Miami Federal Courthouse and President Trump, former President Trump's motorcade right there. Just minutes ago, former President Trump left the courthouse after he was arrested, fingerprinted and arraigned on federal criminal charges. The former president pleaded not guilty, denying all wrongdoing. He faces 37 felony charges, federal prosecutors accusing him of mishandling documents that contained national defense secrets. ABC's Rena Roy has more from his court appearance. The former president of the United States now officially arrested and formally arraigned on a slew of federal criminal charges. Donald Trump's motorcade spotted heading to the federal courthouse from his Miami hotel before he pled not guilty to the 37 count indictment against him. Charges under the Espionage Act and obstruction statutes that potentially carry decades in prison if he's convicted. We're just at the beginning of what's going to be a long process, but it's going to be up to the, the former president to decide how this case goes. Though Trump didn't take a mugshot and wasn't handcuffed, he was processed like any other criminal defendant, fingerprinted, giving his name and social security number to authorities. He does not want this trial to come anytime soon. He wants to get back on the campaign trail. He wants to paint this as a victim. Any way to tell people, this is my target. They're coming at me. Meanwhile, outside the courthouse heightened security. At one point, authorities cornering off one block and pushing media back to investigate a suspicious item, a television with an anti-media message written in white paint. Police inspecting it before giving the all clear. USA! This after Trump called on his supporters to protest. We're out here, we're supporting you. Don't gear up. No retreat, no surrender. Some opponents also showing up. He should have been locked up a long time ago. Federal prosecutors allege Trump improperly stored dozens of classified government documents at his Mar-a-Lago resort that he knew were not authorized to keep, claiming he even schemed to obstruct the investigation. Officials say some of those documents contained top secret nuclear weapon and other national defense information. Now that Trump has officially been arraigned, he'll be heading to Bedminster, New Jersey, where he'll be speaking this evening to supporters. Rena Roy, ABC News, Miami.